Hi and welcome back to Break Tech. My name is Doug and in this video we're going to continue working on our portfolio project using the materialized CSS framework. And in this video we're going to add a second call to action section. It'll be another parallax container and it'll just have a, a call to action button along with um, some sort of uh, statement. So let's go ahead and get started on that. We're going to go back to the materialize CSS documentation. We're just going to grab this parallax container again. We do not need to add a second call to the initialization of the parallax function in the um, in our JavaScript. So don't worry about that. Once is enough for the entire page. As we scroll down to the bottom here, let's go ahead and add a new section. I'll go ahead and add a comment, and this will just be the call to action. And let's paste in that parallax container. Now, I've gone ahead and selected an image for this, and I will show you what that looks like here in just a moment. Uh, but you can use any image you like, anything that you think looks good. And I got, again, if you I don't remember from previous videos, I got these images from uh, Pexels. It's just a free, um, free stock photos website. So we'll go ahead and add that. And we can go back and test that in the browser just to make sure everything's working the way it's supposed to be. And it is. And you can see that the parallax container is actually working. Well, let's go ahead and add something inside of that container. So heading back into our project, we want to put a little bit of uh, margin on either side of this. So I'm going to put a container inside of this parallax container. And inside of there, we'll go ahead and create a row. And inside that row, we want our first column. And I'm going to use an offset so that our column is in the center, uh, but doesn't take up the full width. It's only going to take up 10, uh, 10 columns in width. So I'm going to say L10 offset L1. So there will be one column on either side of, uh, of this column div that we've just created. And I also want to make this vertically aligned like the first uh, call to action container. So I'm going to put the V align wrapper on the parent and then I'm going to add a vertical alignment to this um, column that we've created. Inside of there is where we're going to actually create some elements. I'm going to create an H2 and I'm just going to say interested in working together. And I want to add some classes on there as well. I'm going to say I want that to be center aligned. I want that to be white text. And I'm going to call that the call to action or CTA section. Now below that H2, I want to add a button. So let's just add an anchor tag. And we'll just hash it out and then we'll put a class on there. Uh, we want to center that as well. I want it to be a large button. I want it to be hoverable, like our previous call to action button. And I want to use that same color. I want to use red accent too. And I'm just going to say get and touch. No exclamation point. Go ahead and save that off and go and look what it looks like. Oops. So we'll go ahead and save that off and go look what it looks like. All right. So looking good. It's not centering our button, so we want to fix that for sure. Must have misspelled center. So we got center align, that's correct. Center. Ah, we also want to center the row. Let's see if that fixes it. Yeah, there we go. So we want to center everything in the parent. So now we need to change the CSS up just a bit. I want to change this text so it matches everything else on our site. Let's go back to our styles and we'll start working on the call to action section. I want to first change the font weight to 300 
And then after that, I think I want to add a text shadow. Uh, we're just going to see what that looks like. So I'm going to add a text shadow of like one pixel, one pixel, and black. That should just make that a little easier to see, but not be like overwhelming. Yeah, I think that makes that really easy to read. And you can see that everything is working perfectly. All right, well, that's our second call to action section. So in the next video, we'll be creating a section displaying our work or samples of our work. This has been Doug with Break Tech. If you enjoyed this video, please click like and subscribe. It really means a lot. Thanks.